Here we have a 2016 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport model is what I bought back in 2016, obviously. Uh, when I first got it, I did put some of the Plasti Dip on just to black it out some of the stuff. I did the wheels. I did the front and I did the grill. And again, I did the wheels. This stuff has been on, I'm being honest. It's been on, I had this truck since 2016 and it's 2024. You know, this stuff is sticking really good. So this is Plasti Dip. The black one, multi-purpose rubber coating. That's what I got, and I put that on. Uh, I did the logo. I just redid it, because it was starting to just get light gray. It was fading a little bit, but again, that was eight years. There's my little flag decal. And what I just did is I went, I was gonna pop these fenders off and paint them, because I don't know why the TRD Sport came with body color paint when the TRD Off-Road had the black color, and I didn't want the aftermarket fenders i ordered some a while ago a few years ago i hated them they look like crap uh, so i went today using my plasti dip instead of popping these off and spraying this plasti dip on individually i just taped the truck down uh covered everything up and i just painted it with four coats there you go guys plasti dip here and here's the this is all on the driver's side i think it looks awesome oh and what i also did I got rid of the neck beard. I hated that neck beard. It looks so much cleaner. It looks like a truck now. The neck beard, when I started calling it a neck beard, yeah, I knew it had to go. So I got rid of that. So here you go. Take a picture of this 2016 Taco. Oh, I even did the top vent thing. I do actually hate this vent cover. It's useless. It's just for decoration. It doesn't go anywhere. I don't know why it's not even open to let air in to under the uh, hood. It's just all enclosed. So it's just kind of a useless thing because when you're driving, this kind of blocks the view on this corner. So when you're going through narrow, narrow roads, it's just kind of, you got to hope, hopium, you're not going to, you know, hit a car or something when you're going through a narrow uh, road or passageway or driveway or something like that. So I wish I did not get this, or I wish this actually served a purpose other than decoration. So what I did do by painting a Plasti Dip, this was the original motivator, was to just to cut down on the glare and give me some distinction so I could uh, judge the hood just for driving. All right. No big deal. First world problems, right? So here we have the truck with the uh, driver's side, Plasti Dip. I have no stock in this. I don't own the company, but I like it. This stuff really works really well. I use it on other things as well. And what it does too is uh, if you put it on your bolts and that, it'll just keep them from rusting as well. Uh, that's, that's what I did. I even got up under here, under the fender edges, and I got the bolts covered uh, make it look clean. I did not want to take them off because I saw some guy take off his fenders and there's tape up under the edge here. He's on these Tacomas and I did not want to mess with that or scratch the paint and there's actually plastic tabs holding the fender on and he actually broke a couple and I didn't want to go buy those things and deal with all that hassle. <clears throat> I just felt let's take the extra time like a painter tape up the edges as best I can for overspray and uh, making a nice clean edge. And that's what I did. And uh, pro tip when you're taking off the tape, the, I use blue painter's tape. I just ran a toothpick through the seam. So when you pulled the tape off, it didn't peel it all off, you know, so you have to wash that. So it just made a nice little cut in the, uh, in the outline and the edge and the uh, tape came right off without ripping all my work off. So, all right, here's the driver's side. I like it, I like it a lot. I think it looks good. I mean, it's a, it's what this TRD Sport needed. And uh, I like it now. The truck is cool. I got my Toyo tires. Those are good tires. I learned with any truck or any car, you get what you pay for with tires. Spend the extra money and get good tires and rotate them every 5K or every oil change. Just rotate them front to back. Uh, check your direction. If you're going to cross the tires, you know, make sure they're uh, multi-direction tires, but usually just front to back. So for comparison, here is the original fenders with my bush in the way. Ah, my bush. Um, there, is, there is before Desert Tan, front and back. I have not gotten to this yet. I need, uh, I'm going to get two more cans of this. So 
to do the one side two cans put about two cans on because I also redid the emblems as well and I put about four coats on just to give it a nice coating uh, yeah and again it's eight years this stuff is still on uh, you get little nicks in that this is eight years ago you get little nicks and that you can just spray and patch that up, but I haven't gotten to that uh, but I'm impressed with this stuff and worst case you don't like it you peel it off and you get back to the original right and again here's the after 100% better, baby. 100%. And then one more time. Yeah, it's like vanilla. Boring. Boo, boring. Boring. I don't know why they did that with the TRD support. Just wanted, they just put the black fenders on like the TRD off-road. I don't know. I probably should have got a TRD off-road. I wasn't thinking clearly. But I like now to get the... Um, tuning upgrade but I get weary when people start messing with the computers on things I know people say it's good it makes it perform better but uh, I don't know but I like the way this looks what do you guys think this is this is simple easy solution and as I just said if you really hate it if it really doesn't work you just let it dry obviously and peel it off and guess what you're back to original. All right, guys, what do you think? I think Toyota Tacomas are good. I like these third gens. The new ones are out, a whole new engine. La, lots of issues, lots of growing pains, gaps in the body, uh, seams and stuff. I wouldn't know. You never buy a first-year model of any car because they got to work out the kinks. Plus, they're overpriced. They're like starting at 43000 and it's just way too much. I got this for like 31000 back in 2016, uh, and it's loaded. Eh, it's loaded for what you can get. On a tier sport, it's got cloth seats, which are fine. Uh, let's see, all wheel, all wheel drive, four wheel drive, and uh, yeah. So now I got to plan some time. Now that I like the way that looks, is to do the passenger side. Got that neck beard being gone is so awesome. It looks so much better. It looks such like a, looks like a, it just looks like a nice Toyota pickup truck. I guess that neck beard was for EPA stuff or, I don't know, protecting the undercarriage. Who cares, you know? I really go with the looks right now. So yeah, it looks better, painted that, and I think I got the seat risers coming for the uh, driver's seat to raise it up a, what, a quarter inch, just to get my get the front of the seat up. I'm gonna try that next, and maybe that'll solve the problem of see, seeing better or seeing more clearly over the hood. I'm shrinking. <laughs> and that's about it, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Just wanna point this out. People are doing all this extra stuff. I said, hey, I'm just doing something clean, clean simple. Easy button, plastic dip for the win. I love this stuff. Got it on Amazon. It's $11.99 for a 11 ounce can. And uh, yeah, this stuff, I don't know, just a good way to blacken out your um, your trucks or whatever you want to coat. You can coat tools. Of course, it'll peel off the tools if you're doing metal on metal and scratching it. But uh, just to get the wheels coated, those are, again, those are stock aluminum wheels. Now they're all coated. And that stuff has been on the wheels, like I said, at least eight years. And it's amazing, even with uh, taking and rotating the tires with the lug nuts, it has not peeled off the plastic dip at all. So this stuff is this stuff is a win, guys. Uh, what I did before, I did this fender, the fenders and the uh, emblem again. I just uh, wiped them down really good with isopropyl alcohol to get all the grease and grime off and then taped everything off. Uh, coat, cover the truck so it would have overspray. And you know what, if you, even if you get overspray, just get a rag with isopropyl alcohol and the stuff comes right up. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty easy to work with. All right, on that note, I'm out of here. Talk to you later.